Hi guys, uh, this is my first real uh, review of a product on YouTube. Uh, well, it's not really a review, uh, it's more of a warning really. Um, I was looking at buying some Nike uh, running shoes called Nike Free Run 2s, um, like slippers according to some, some of my friends. So I did a bit of hunting around on the internet, found a website called www.bestfreerun.com. Uh, looked like an American website, the IP address went through a US server. Um, paid uh, via Visa card a um, couple of weeks later a box arrived for me um, when I looked at the front of the box on the front of it I won't show you my personal details but uh, unfortunately um, yeah that's the problem arrived from China um, slightly worried to say the least as soon as I saw that I uh, realised that you know, we could be in for maybe a spot of counterfeit goods. So uh, opened the box up and found this box inside, which is, uh, needless to say, a bit tatty. Had some stickers removed. As you can see, it's not very uh, very tidy. It, it looks like a, a box which has been knocking around for a while, maybe one that's been thrown out by somebody. And then um, somebody's put the trainers into it to make it try and look genuine. When we open it up, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not really very au fait with genuine Nike wrapping, but I mean, the box looks fairly genuine, just not very good condition. Looks a bit old. Um, inside, generally, you get that sort of nice tissue paper uh, which covers the shoes up. You know, they're wrapped up in that. This looks like some litter that you'd wrap up your fish and chips in. Uh, yeah, well, there we go. That's the end of that. Um, the shoes themselves. Uh, apart from a an overpowering smell of sort of chemicals or plastic coming from the box, and I can really smell it now. And these are a couple of days old now. Um, very very strong. They don't actually look um, too bad. I mean, I've not had these before, so I'm not really really sure of the differences between these and the genuine ones. Um, they're very very light which the new ones are, or the genuine ones are. Um, I've not weighed these, but I mean, they do feel very light. Now, I didn't think the quality, feeling them, was really worth the money. Uh, so that sort of set alarm bells ringing too. Uh, I looked at a few videos and pictures and stuff on YouTube, people unboxing theirs, and I looked at a lot of pictures on the websites of these particular trainers. Um, really, I'll, I'll run through some of the differences that I can see, <clears throat> just in case you need to spot them. Um, the first sort of obvious difference is this tongue area here. Uh, although it's all incorporated into the shoe, like the genuine ones. Um, on the genuine ones, the tongue appears to be uh, quite higher. And when I say higher, I mean it sort of comes up here a bit more. Um, I've not seen another pair that's got a white label on it. On all the other ones, they're colour coded or they're black. Um, they're not white. Uh, on the real ones, the real ones are a little bit more sturdy. <clears throat> they feel a bit better. Uh, I compared these to some of my um, friends' ones today. Uh, they got some genuine ones, and as soon as I picked up the two, you could see the differences: um, which ones were real, which ones were the fake ones. Another thing to look out for, <clears throat> um, the stitching. Don't know if we can sort of see that. The uh, the stitching on the genuine ones is uh, can't really zoom in very well on that. The stitching on the genuine ones is very close together, and on these ones it's it's actually a slightly further apart. The space in between each stitch. Um, on this one, you can see the stitching starting to sort of come away already. It's, it's coming undone. You can see that the threads, the stitching is just pulling away, so they're not very strong. <clears throat> um, and this silly yellow label attached to it. Not really ever seen anything like that on a set of night shoes. Um, inside, normally you get the nice tissue paper sort of scrunched up in the toe. Um, looks like something that you'd take a, a whiz in in the hospital. If you ask me, like a vomit bowl or something, but uh, there we go. 
Um, the laces don't particularly feel very good. They feel a bit thin and flimsy. Uh, the insole, right. This is something to look out for. Uh, the insole on the genuine ones, this pattern here seems to be much bigger. Um, that may be for a Chinese person's foot, I don't know. Maybe they've got small feet uh, underneath. Um, fairly similar to the genuine ones, but on the genuine ones, um, this bit uh, just looks a bit better, looks a bit um, more prominent. Uh, also, these holes in the insole um, on the genuine ones, the holes are actually further back towards the heel, about there. Uh, and on the genuine ones, they look really nicely punched out, very round. So that's another thing. And they're just sort of the heels are starting to scrunch up. And I've only literally worn these for about two or three miles. You can see what they're doing. Um, they look very similar to the genuine ones, but they just don't feel the same. Um, inside, on the genuine ones, in here, in the red bit, there's a, a printed black serial number. On these, there is none. Um, the little uh, sensor pocket in there, the genuine one, it's not supposed to come out on these. It just falls out with a tap. The genuine one's got like little lugs around it which stop it coming out. So, uh, yeah, great, thanks for that. Um, so you just left with a little hole. Uh, this, on the genuine ones, feels a lot more sturdy, a little bit more bulky, um, but it feels better quality, as does this material that the tongue's made out of. The genuine ones feel um, a bit firmer, equally as light and breathable, um, but just a bit more quality. Um, inside, it's a bit hard to see really on these, but the, the, the inside of it, um, on the genuine ones, it, it's, it's better made and it's stitched better. Slightly different style inside. The sole, on the genuine ones, the, the sole feels a, a bit more rubbery. These, are, they look fairly similar, although these gashes aren't quite as deep. Um, also, the, the real ones, we found that when you bend them, these sort of bend there. You know, they, they really just bend there. On the genuine ones, they bend evenly all the way. When you pull the tongue up, or the, the toe up, uh, they bend nicely in a, in a curve, so they're not really going to do the job. Uh, another good point, these little, um, the little red Nike tag there on the genuine one, uh, the silver board around the edge is a bit narrower. Um, and I mean, they're, they're pretty, <laughs> pretty poorly stuck on, as you can see. Another thing I noticed as well was um, the black rubber grips on the bottom. I literally wore these for two or three miles walking. Um, and you can see that the rubber's sort of fallen to pieces. It's almost worn away, which is a bit uh, odd considering they've only been used for a couple of miles. So, um, yeah, I've been had. <laughs> 50 pound down the drain. Um, I mean, they look reasonable, but putting them on, I can tell you, they don't. I put my friend's genuine ones on today, the same size, size 10 UK. Uh, they slid on like a glove. They felt very good. Um, these, they're a bit tight to get your foot past here. And once you get your foot in, um, there's, there's sort of too much movement. There's, there's too much width. They don't really hold your foot. Uh, I can't really think of much else at the moment. Apart from myself, I'm not particularly happy. Not Nike's fault. So bloody Chinese copy everything. But uh, there you go. If you want something to walk around the pub in, and your mates go, "Oh, look at your nice new Free Run Twos, aren't they lovely?" Then it's not the end of the world. If you want them for running, like I do, uh, to look after your feet, I wouldn't go near them with a barge pole. Um, it's not worth ruining your feet for. So. Uh, don't buy them. Uh, I genuinely thought I was getting a genuine night product um, from a, a, a authorised stockist. If I'd have known they were going to come from China, I wouldn't have gone near them. Uh, there you go. So that's your, your Chinese free runs. I thought I'd make this video because there's not really much on the internet 
um, about fake free runs. Um, obviously, they they must be everywhere, but there's not really that much on the on the internet about them. Um, so there's just a few pointers for people that are wondering what to look out for. The main thing, like I said, is this tongue bit is slightly higher, mostly so that that night label is above the lace as you can read it. Um, that's one of the main things that you can spot without really looking at them too much. Uh, yeah, sad. So I might send them to Nike just so they can see them if they're interested. I don't know. Um, they might be interested in having a look, but they might not. I don't know how they feel about copyright infringement like that. But uh, there you go. So www.bestfreerun dot com looks like a slick website to me anyway I'm not an expert I'm not really a, a computer geek um, but obviously there you go it's your fake free runs so thanks China great no response from the seller either emails um, phone numbers no good well, you really want to ring China about thirty quid a second yeah so um, Buyer beware, and uh, yeah, they'll go in the bin, I think, because they're not really much good for anything else, and they smell really, really bad. So, thanks again, thanks for watching.